All right, we're in uh, chapter six of the uh, helicopter flying handbook. We're page three of six, so weight and balance calculations. When determining whether a helicopter is properly loaded, two questions must be answered. Is the gross weight less than or equal to the maximum liable gross weight? Is the center of gravity within an allowable center of gravity range, and will it stay within the allowable range throughout the duration of the flight, including all loading configurations that may be encountered? To answer the first question, just add the weight of the items comprising the useful load, the pilot, the passengers, the fuel, the oil, if applicable, cargo, and baggage to the basic empty weight of the helicopter. Ensure that the total weight does not exceed the maximum allowable gross weight. To answer the second question, use center gravity or moment information from loading charts, tables, or graphs in the RFM. Then, using one of the methods described below, calculate the load moment and or loaded center of gravity and verify that it falls within liable center of gravity range shown in the RFM. It is important to note that any weight and balance computation is only as accurate as the information provided. Therefore, ask passengers what they weigh and add a few pounds to account for additional weight of clothing, especially during the winter months. Baggage should be weighed on a scale if practical. If a scale is not available, compute personal loading values according to each individual estimates. Figure 6-2 indicates the standard weights for specific operating fluids. The following terms are used when computing uh, helicopters balance. So aviation gas, uh, 6 pounds per gallon. Jet fuel, 6.5 pounds per gallon. Jet fuel JP5, 6.8 pounds per gallon. Reciprocating engine oil, 7.5 pounds per gallon. Turbine oil varies between 6 and 8 pounds per gallon. And water is 8.53 pounds per gallon. Uh, oil weight is given in pounds per gallon, while oil capacity is usually in quarts. Therefore, convert the amount of oil to gallons before calculating its weight. Remember, 4 quarts equals 1 gallon. When making weight and balance computations, allow, always use actual weights if they are available, especially if the helicopter is loaded near the weight and balance limits. All right, so reference datum. All right, this would be good. Balance is determined by the location of center of gravity, which is usually described as a given number of inches from the, the reference datum. The horizontal reference datum is an imaginary vertical plane or point uh, arbitrarily fixed somewhere along the longitudinal axis of the helicopter from which all horizontal distances are measured for weight and balance purposes. There is no fixed rule for its location. It may be located at a rotor mass, the nose of the helicopter, or even at a point of space ahead of the helicopter. So we'll look at this. This is uh, pretty important. All right, pretty much the center of grade, uh, gravity, uh, where the center of gravity is in all measurements. Uh, there. All right. While the horizontal reference datum can be anywhere the manufacturer chooses, some manufacturers choose the datum line at or ahead of the mass forward structural point on the helicopter, in which case all moments are positive. This aids in simplifying calculations. Other manufacturers choose the datum line at some point in the middle of the helicopter, in which case moments. Uh, produced by weights in front of the datum are negative and moments produced by weight after the datum are positive. The lateral reference datum is usually located at the center of the helicopter. The location of the reference datum is established by the manufacturers defined by the RFM. All right, so you go a uh, plus or minus of the horizontal datum. All right, let's drive now. All right, and there's the other pin. The lateral reference datum is located longitudinally through the center line of a helicopter. Therefore, there are positive and negative values. Mm -hmm. Chapter summary. This chapter has discussed the importance of computing the weight and balance of the helicopter. This chapter also discussed the common terms and meanings associated with weight and balance. Mm. All right, so we'll end up there. That was chapter six, uh, page, uh, yeah, all the pages, pages, six pages. See ya.